This tutorial will demonstrate how to download and install Audacity, a free audio recording program. If you do a Google search for Audacity, you will see result list like you see here. And the first option right here that you see, audacity.sourceforge.net, is the one that you want. Uh, uh, be careful on other areas such as CNET and other types of sites here that might have other types of free programs like Audacity. Um, the one that you want it looks like this right here. Um, also be careful when you do a Google search there may be some ad banners that come up above this that are highlighted in orange or yellow or on the side and you want to be sure to avoid those as well. So simply click on Audacity the free audio recording program. This is what the website looks like from Audacity here you can see right in the front page we have the option to download Audacity 2.3 2.0.3 there are other Audacity downloads available as well for uh, Mac computers or Apple computers uh, but most of the time folks that are using Apple uh, can use a program like GarageBand however if you do want to use Audacity uh, there is an option to uh, download it for an Apple computer so in this case we're going to do the download Audacity 2.0.3 I'm using Chrome and in Google Chrome it's automatically going to download that uh, file down at the bottom of the page here you can see right here it's installing this executable file. Uh, in the meantime I'll go ahead and look at other all Audacity downloads and this is where you can see if you want to put it on a Mac computer you could do it there. Once the download is complete you can simply click on this download button. If you're using Firefox it probably uh, saved the file somewhere like your desktop and when you run that executable file then we're going to click run here you likely will get some kind of security warning and go ahead and click yes uh, choose your language and you'll begin the audacity wizard go ahead and click next next and you'll see that it's going to install uh, the, the audacity folder and program files audacity and if you want an icon on your desktop you can leave that checked there and then simply hit install and allow it to install the Audacity program on your computer the Audacity program isn't really that large so it should install it fairly quickly uh, once it's done you can click the next and we'll go ahead and click on launch Audacity finish which will then open up the Audacity so it would have installed an icon on my desktop and began to um, open it. Now on my computer it's giving me this application error uh, simply hit OK there and then there will likely be two of them uh, hit OK and then the Audacity program should open up and here's what you see with the Audacity program and very simply if you wanted to record something you have your microphone set up and ready to go uh, you can choose your different microphone um, and speakers with these options right here uh, but very simply if you have your microphone going you hit record and you start talking and as you can see here that it's recording my voice I can hit stop and come back and play that you and you can hear my voice there there are all kinds of advanced features that you can use in Audacity. Uh, for an, in this case, we're just doing a simple recording. Now, when you save with Audacity, it's going to save it. If you do a save project as, it's going to give you this warning sign here, just letting you know that you're saving an Audacity project file. And this project file type is a .aup for Audacity. Uh, and it's a proprietary type of file that really only works with Audacity alone. Uh, which is okay uh, and that's okay to go ahead and save it but I want you to be familiar that really the only way that you're going to work with this particular file is with Audacity. So you can hit OK and then let's say I just put this on my desktop and I will call this um, test3 Audacity project and it's going to go ahead and save onto my desktop a test3 data folder and an, a, a test3.aup file that I could open up now in order to export this as an mp3 if you're wanting to uh, for whatever reason take and send somebody your uh, audio file you're wanting to attach it to an email or submit it as an assignment or something um, the AUP file will not work let me show you here quick what that looks like on the desktop uh, here's what the AUP file here looks like and there's a test3 data folder that goes along with it uh, so there's multiple files that work together in order to do uh, have the original AUP file file. Therefore, if you're wanting to send something over the web, uh, your audio recording, you're going to need to likely export it as another file type.
Uh, so in this case we go file export and you can see under this save type as, save as type we have multiple options here probably the best option being the mp3 files a wave option is a good option as well however it's going to be a much bigger file size one of the great advantages is of the mp3 format is that it compresses it nice and small but keeps the quality however in order to set up you to export as an mp3 if i go ahead and hit save here this is asking me to include the metadata uh, I don't for in this case I don't need to put anything if you did want to put the artist your artist name title all that information uh, this is just a uh, data that goes along with the file you are certainly welcome to uh, but in most cases you don't need to uh, you can hit OK uh, but then you're gonna get this message right here saying that uh, audacity needs to locate the lame encoder in order to create the mp3 so the next video tutorial will demonstrate how to go through the steps of installing the lame encoder and getting that set up so that you can export to an mp3 on Audacity.